Hey everyone. I just wanted to share because I ran into one of my favorite trees and by one of my favorite trees, this is actually my favorite tree. It's hard to get me to commit to that, but this is grand fir, Aby's grandis. And you can tell it apart from Doug fir because the needles are so flat. Look at that guys, so flat. Douglas fir does not get that flat, right? Douglas fir is gonna have some ones poking upward and sometimes kind of like going downward, but grand fir is super flat and you can see the upper needles are also flat. Um, the newer green growth that you're seeing here, that is last year's new growth. So it's still brighter green, but this year's new growth is gonna come out of the end um, on those black buds right there. So it hasn't come out quite yet. We're gonna look, look for that in May to harvest. And another way you can identify grand fir is smelling the needles and they smell really different than Douglas fir. So I want you guys to get out there and start smelling the needles of these trees because these ones, ugh, I think they're the most delicious. And so this is what I prefer to make my medicines out of. If I'm gonna do like any kind of fir tips or anything, this is my, my absolute favorite. Um, this particular tree, you can see the trunk over here is fairly skinny, but it's big enough for me to harvest some from this tree, but I wouldn't wanna harvest too much because with trees, you want to worry about like what percentage of the growth are you taking and how much are you going to damage the tree? Really big trees, like they don't care, right? I mean, maybe don't like take branches off in a weird way that the tree looks really weird. But for baby trees, like for example, there's a Western hemlock right there. That one is definitely on the medium size. So we'd harvest a little bit from there. Any smaller than that, we might just leave it alone altogether. So for tip season, it's important to know our stewardship and, um, grand fir by the way which is the one here um, this one is a little rare and I'm actually surprised that I ran into it I'm on Cougar Mountain probably it was planted here if you want to find more of these trees I would go on the eastern slope of the Cascades is my favorite place to find these but there are actually a lot of planted grand firs in like Seattle parks and some Bellevue parks and maybe other parks in Washington as well so keep your eye out for the flat needles and this, is, this has cones, but they're usually at the top of the tree and facing upward. So you usually don't see them from the ground. Um, so that's another indication too, is Doug fir is gonna have those cones hanging down on it. Hope that was helpful. And please share your fur tip adventures with me. I would love to know. I'll do more videos later in the year about it as well.